Hey guys, Michael Wildcat Cray Cut. Today we are looking at the $6.97 um, 18 inch made in China uh, Ozark Trail machete. Okay? <laughs> and, uh, I'm, you know, I'm very frugal with my money. I don't waste it. I'm going, you know. And I. Uh, I'll give you a background story here on um, machetes. I, I went to work on a very large farm when I was like 16 years old. And in the tool room, they had about a dozen machetes. They were all World War II surplus. Not a one of them had the handle left on They were all busted off. And uh, we used them every year. We did a sorghum cane. They grew acres and acres of sorghum cane. We'd go out and strip the leaves off with the machetes, cut the cane, cut the heads off and they made sorghum syrup, gallons and gallons of sorghum syrup. So, um, you know, that's my first actual hands-on with a machete. Years later, I bought a machete. I got an Ontario. <clears throat> I thought they were the best machetes out there. And uh, I lost it on a uh, survival course in the Smoky Mountains. Um, didn't want to go back and get out miles away when I realized I didn't have my machete. Just one of those things, it's what I'm saying, you lose gear, you do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, friends of mine bought me a 22 inch uh, Tramontina, Tramontina, I believe how you say, made in Brazil. Um, and I've used this ever since. I like the reach, 22 inches. Uh, so I'm really used to this, and you can tell it's had quite a bit of use and abuse through the years. Sometimes I'll get this thing and swing for hours at a time around here, just clearing, you know, clearing underbrush and stuff. And so I get nicks. The ground here is uh, very rocky. Occasionally you go into the ground and hit a rock and nick the blade and, and you know, file it out when you sharpen them keep them pretty sharp. Um, you gotta be careful with a machete, they wanna swing back on you. But anyway, this 18 inch machete, I already know from watching the videos, this sheath is like a sock, okay? It's not got any real substance to it. It's just drop it in and it hangs there. So what I'm gonna try and do is cut, cut the machete out using a pair of scissors and I will take this plastic and cardboard and make a insert for the uh, sock sheath <laughs> to stiffen it up, make it more serviceable. You know, I don't like just limp stuff hanging there. So uh, let's cut this out, see if we can get this machete out of here, free it from its bonds. Uh, freedom! So anyway, here we go, guys. And you know, this is 2024, $6.97 plus tax at Walmart, Ozark Trail. That's uh, with inflation and stuff, you're kidding, all right? But it's made in China, so, you know. Okay, got that off. Let me see here. Yeah. Oh, it's got a zip tie. Can you see if the scissors can eliminate that? Yep. Zip tie off. Coming out. Have the point protector. Taking that off. Checking the edge. Now I see two grinds. It's got two levels of grinding. You can probably tell and sharpness it's moderately sharp i'm not going to say it's real sharp <laughs> it's usable it's usable right out of the package um here's here's the uh the sheath and, you know i'm not complaining it's 697 2024 <laughs> come on guys here's the sheath okay and uh, we will make a liner out of this material here. 
going to give the sheath some substance. You know what I mean? So be careful when you don't just rip it open and go tearing it out. You know, if I just have a use, I'll do a video on the making the sheath at uh, another time. But today, we are checking out the machete. And I can't tell by looking at it. I'm pretty sure this is carbon steel. Um, let's look at the thickness compared to the Tramatina. And actually, they feel, feel to be the same thickness. Okay. And you know, the Tramatina has got some flex to it. Let's check. 18 inches should be stiffer. Got a little bit of flex, that's good. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm finally liking the flex. Ontario's more flex, they're thicker, thicker steel. They're good for splitting wood, they're good for temperate zones. I live in the subtropics, okay? Machete at least three months out of the year, maybe even in the winter. So, um, why would I drop down, well, lighter, that I can, you know, you can tell the difference, it is lighter. Uh, I'll give a weight down below, comparison weight between the two. I forgot to bring the scale out here. And uh, the reason I'm going to an 18 incher, I'm building a uh, five pound bag and the machete's an essential piece of that bag. And I've got the bag out here to use as a camera wrist. We're getting ready to go over here and cut some stuff. Uh, right behind me, I've got some uh, wild rose over here. And, you know, wild rose stems make real good arrow shafts. Just remember that. Even, you know, uh, people don't realize that. Wild rose stems and uh, blackberry, big thick blackberry stems make good arrow shafts too, even with all the grooves in them. So anyway, we're going to go over here and do some chop chop. I'm bringing the sack camera rest, got the machine, and away we go, well, okay, first of all, we're going to work, I'm taking all my jewelry off, you know, my rings for trade, taking my keys off, and all this stuff I'd usually leave at my, um, leave with wherever my drink is, I'm not out of sight, okay, uh, notebook and, uh, thing I keep the radio on because I may need it you know if I have an emergency okay and we got this in the bag put on my safety glasses which is a pair of sunglasses we're going to go over here and chop some stuff and of course I'm going to need the camera so okay guys let's go over here like I say this is uh some wild rose and look at the stickers on that stuff <laughs> stuff will eat you up okay we're gonna put the pack down and use it as a camera rest and uh, we'll see what we do here yeah that's a good usable sharpness here I'm gonna get it sharper but And, uh, of course, chopping that, that kind of stuff, no real challenge to the blade. I got some uh, dead timber down over here. Let's go over here and look at that. Whew. Early morning workout. First of all, I got some uh, saplings over here around this. Uh, got an apple tree coming up. And... Uh, Here's my apple tree. 
one of them. And, uh, you know, we got root, root, root competition there. Let's get in here. Good demo. Let's go over here and chop some real wood now. Get the bag back up. And we did eat some dirt over there, but didn't get a rock, I don't think. Maybe we did. We'll see a little nick in the blade. Rocks are gonna rocks are gonna chip any kind of steel, you know what I mean? Okay. wood down here. Okay guys, that was some pretty solid wood right there. So we'll cut a uh, you know, soft brush, we'll cut some saplings out, cut on some real wood just as a basic test. And uh, wildcat's kind of winded. Ooh.